I will start with brief history remarks on the issue of integrating or isolating Russia. And I do it not because I love history, which I do, uh, but because Russia's regimes in multiple, and especially Mr. Putin particularly, are strongly preoccupied by history issues. And history is framing their political decisions quite often. So the, the West has, for centuries, has this uh, rather naive, even dangerous dream of integrating Russia into a rule-based international community. And sometimes the dream was fulfilled. Russia entered the international community in the end of the 18th century by taking the lion's share from the partition of Poland, and thus setting the pattern of its eventual integration attempts. Furthermore, Russia had at least two man on the moon moments in its integration in the international community, or I should rather say one Cossacks in Paris moment and one Bolsheviks in Berlin moment. After contributing in, in really great part to the military defeat of Napoleon and Hitler, Russia was first integrated as a main player in the so-called concert of powers in the 19th century and then became a permanent member of the UN Security Council in the 20th century. And regretfully, in both cases, Russia used this integration, this position, these new powers in order to subdue, oppress, and even try to erase a big part of Eastern Europe from the map of the world, and rather successfully. So I'm speaking very much from a European perspective, from an Eastern European perspective, or even South Eastern European perspective. And I think it is a very important one because Russian aggression is not a victimless crime. Every time there are victims, and from our point of view, the most important ones are those in Eastern and Southeastern Europe, although victims within Russia should not be underestimated. Since time is running out, I will use further more historic arguments, especially the one who loses and who wins when Russia's regime is humiliated, as Mr. Macron said, but we will do it during our debate. Thank you.